This total body dynamic warm up is going to be six minutes of work, three exercises. We're going to go ahead and start 30 seconds per side of a hip rock. Starting in a tabletop position, we're going to kickstand one leg out, sitting back on that heel, really working those hips and inner thigh. At 30 seconds, you'll switch sides. Next up, we have a hamstring stretch into a knee tuck. Kickstanding one heel forward, toes pointing towards the ceiling. We're sitting back on that back leg. Then we'll rock forward, driving that back leg up knee to about hip height. Last but not least, we have one minute of a seal jack. Arms nice and wide to open up the uh, chest, feet nice and wide as well. An option here, we can always step it out and back to a starting position. You have two full rounds. Go ahead and get warmed up.
Well, Lindsay, I think it's time to pull out the mini bands. This lower body block is eight minutes of work. You're going to repeat three exercises until time is called. Let's go ahead, set it up. Make sure you're in a seated position when you put on your mini band one leg at a time. We're going to make sure it lays flat just below the knee in that mid band position. We're going to start with 12 total reps of a squat to alternating leg lift. Feet are hip width apart to maintain tension on the band, then making that lateral move with our legs, switching sides. An option here, a little bit goes a long way on that leg lift, so reduce the range of motion if you need to. Next up, six total reps of a monster walk. As you can see, we're in that semi squat, creating a C with our foot, getting that rotation going. It's going to be four steps forward, four steps back. That's going to count as one rep. You have six. Last but not least, we've got 12 total reps of a plank alternating leg lift. Feet are hip width apart. We're down on our forearms, elbows stacked underneath the shoulders, squeezing the glutes as we raise that heel off the ground back to the starting position. An option here, you can go ahead, drop one knee down, raising one leg at a time. You've got eight minutes of work. Go ahead, put on your mini band and get started. And our hearts beat together 
Family, this block is all about the lower body. It's going to be eight minutes long, consists of four exercises for eight reps a piece. And you ready to get into this? Ready. All right, so we're gonna kick it off with our goblet squat for tempo. Feet are just wider than your hips, holding your object out in front of you, and the key is tempo. So notice it's gonna be a slow controlled three seconds on the descend and one explosive count on the way right back up. Flowing into our second exercise, widen out our stance, your toes slightly outward. It is our sumo squat to frogger. So what Angie's doing is she's dropping her object on the ground. She's exploding up, landing soft, and performing that sumo squat. Option, you can just come up on your toes. That looks great. Transitioning into our body weight, alternating step up with knee raise. When you're stepping up on your object, you wanna make sure that your heel is all the way on top, sticking your balance, keeping your core tight, and activating your glutes and hamstrings. Whew. Number four, our last one, is going to be our lateral hop over. So one foot is on top of your object, going side to side, staying under control, or if it's better for you, we'll just slow things down, keeping one foot on top of your box the entire time. Again, four exercises, eight minute total, eight reps a piece. Let's see what you got.
this block is all about the glutes. We're gonna use the mini bands and you're gonna have six minutes to go through these three exercises for as many rounds as you can do. The first exercise is gonna be an external hip rotation to a lateral lunge. When you're doing this exercise, think about when you land, sitting back into your heel and not letting your chest drop. The option, limit your range of motion. You're gonna do six on one side, six on the other. Then you'll come down and place the mini band in the high band position, which is just above the knee. You're gonna perform a high band hip bridge. So you'll lay all the way back. The weight is gonna be in the heels. Keep tension into the band. Lift the hips up, squeeze at the top, slowly lower the weight back down. You're gonna perform 12 reps. Your option is to limit your range of motion. The third movement is gonna be an ISO hip bridge to a walkout. Now, when you walk out, you only take one step out with each foot and then one step back in. Try to keep tension in the glutes and not arch your back. Option, limit your range of motion, don't walk out as far. So you're gonna do 12 reps of that movement and then you'll repeat that circuit for six minutes, getting as many rounds as possible. Let's get to work.
it back to base push all out. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Six minute block, 30 seconds at each effort, and we will end with a rest. So your base effort, your challenging but doable effort, alternating curtsy lunge. Making sure we're squared up, we're gonna step back behind with one leg, lowering the body to the ground but keeping the chest tall. Alternating each rep, option just reduce your range of motion. Then we're gonna take the intensity up, our uncomfortable push effort, speed skaters. Working on now adding a plyometric bounce back and forth, holding the core tight at the end and hitting that pause. When it's time to take it all out, we're gonna do a three-step lateral shuffle. Step, step, and hold. Step, step, and hold. Even higher intensity, higher heart rate. 30 seconds there, we'll take it to a 30-second rest. We'll repeat three rounds. Let's do it. Let's get to work.
for this eight minute core block, we're gonna challenge one of the most important anchors of our body, and we're gonna add a little spice by adding a mini band. So we're gonna have five exercises. Didi, you're gonna start with a mini band around your toes. So that means sit down, make sure it's nice and safe. We're gonna place the band around the toes and the balls of the foot. First exercise is a bicycle crunch, laying flat, always making sure the belly button is pulled into the ground. Elbows are nice and wide. We're gonna rotate, bring one elbow towards the opposite knee. Again, keeping the back nice and flat with tension on the band. 12 reps total here. Then we're gonna relax our shoulders. Arms go up for a dead bug. Knees are at 90 degrees. We're gonna straighten out one arm and the opposite leg, making it nice and wide, slow and controlled. Bring it back and switch sides. Again, back is always flat. Think tortoise, not the hare. 12 total. Then we're going to come into our reverse crunch. So our palms are flat for stability. Same tension on the band. We're lowering the heels down, slow and controlled, and crunching back up. Belly button's flat, and that band is nice and tight. 12 total reps. After those three exercises, we're gonna move the band from the toes up to the wrist position for isometric holds. So again, right where you would wear that watch, we're gonna lay nice and flat. We're gonna do a static crunch with scissors. So tension through the band, shoulders pop up off the mat, chin stays lifted. We're gonna drop one leg down towards the floor and all together moving, switching legs. Tricky part here again, the back stays flat. 12 total with the isometric hold. To finish, we're gonna bring both legs up. We're gonna crunch through the core to drive the band up towards the toes. It's a little movement, but it's important because it all stays contracted. 12 total here, and Didi, how did that feel? I'm on fire. Let's get you guys on fire too. Eight minute core block, get to work.
to this point, but what's equally important is the flexibility block. With this one, primarily, we're gonna be working the posterior chain, those hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Our focus here is to make sure that we reduce injury, especially hunching our shoulders over, hitting next episode on our favorite streaming service. We have four movements that we're gonna hold for 20 seconds each. Am you ready to do this? Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna start things off with our standing overhead side reach. We're gonna bring our arms overhead. We're gonna grab that wrist, nice deep breath, leaning to our left side to start off, working the lats and the obliques. As we get it a little bit deeper into that stretch, each inhale on the exhalation, we're gonna see if we can get a millimeter further into that. Now, whatever range of motion is available to you, use that. Then we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Nice deep breath, chest nice and tall. And let's come back to that starting position. Next up, we have our standing toe reach. A nice deep breath, feet together, shoulders back nice and proud. We're gonna hinge from the waist, keeping that chest nice and tall, reaching for those toes. Working primarily with our hamstrings, glutes, a little bit with the lower back here. Now, Emily has ridiculous flexibility. You may not have that available to you. So you can always go to the calves, maybe behind the knees. Again, whatever's available to you at that moment. Very nice. Let's go ahead, walk those hands out to a high plank. We're gonna get ourselves ready for a downward dog. We're gonna start from our high plank position, walk the hands back just a little bit, pressing through the hands, raising those glutes in the air. Legs are straight to really emphasize that stretch on the hamstrings. And for an added benefit on the calves, we're gonna add a running addition to it, alternating, bending each knee. Nice, slow, and controlled here. Last but not least, we have a runner's lunge with a rotation. We're gonna step one foot out nice and wide, dropping that back knee down to the ground. We're gonna bring both hands down to the inside of that right leg, pressing that elbow into the right knee. We're gonna reach up with our left hand, reaching for the sky. This is gonna work the thoracic spine, really making sure we keep it nice and safe. Holding it for 20 seconds, bringing it back down, and then switch sides. You have four exercises, 20 second hold for each. Go ahead and cool down, you've we earned it. The way. I call the shots. I own this bow. Unafraid of who I am. Unafraid. Unafraid to be the best of everything. Unafraid, unafraid, unafraid of who I 
Yeah. 